Hello, everybody. I'm Chef Danny. Welcome to Cooking in Chords. Holidays are upon us. We are going to hit something hard tonight. We are going to do some sides. Uh, we're going to do a great side with butternut squash that's going to accompany your turkey dinner. But before that, I just want to wish all of our veterans a happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for all you do. The veterans that are serving now and the veterans from the past and the, and the future veterans, the people that are signed up ready to go to do, do service, thank you. We appreciate you and we love you. So let's get right into it. Today we are going to do a butternut squash au gratin, which means with cheese. It's got a nice brown top. I'll show you the one I have in the oven that's cooking. I have regular butternut squash. You can use any squash, but I like butternut, cause especially because of the color. And I love the texture and the sweetness of the butternut squash. I have here onions, scallions, butter. Um, this is Gru Gruyere cheese, which is a Swiss cheese. Okay. I have two types. I have the white, creamy type, and I also have the aged, which is um, a little harder, but it's got a really intense butterscotch flavor. It goes really, really well with um, the butternut squash. You can also use it in fondue. If you don't want it, if you can't find that, you can go and use the, the, the Norwegian Jarlsberg or the other Swiss mental cheese, which are substitutes for grayer. Okay, so we're going to get started. I have my butternut squash already cubed up. I'm going to start by adding some butter to my saute pan. The butter is going to add to the saute pan, and this is going to get a nice nutty flavor. And I'm going to start to saute my onions. Okay, here's my onions right here. The butter is really good. Really, really flavorful. When it starts to cook and brown up a little bit, it gets this awesome, really nutty flavor. While that is sauteing, I am going to get my fresh garlic, which I peeled already. I am going to use my garlic mincer. This is a time-saving tool. I love this thing. This is awesome. Just like that. I like garlic, so I'm going to put a little more. That's the beauty about a recipe. You can make it your own. This is how recipes evolve and get refined. You can make it your own. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to put it in. If you like a lot of garlic, you, put, you can put more in. It doesn't really matter because you're in charge. You are driving the bus when you're cooking. Okay, that's there. Stir this up a little bit. I hope everybody's staying safe. I know there's a lot of things happening out there with the COVID, but I do know this. There are people that are still wanting to get together with family for the holidays and entertain. And, and the beauty part about that is, whoop, the beauty part about that is they can screen whoever comes into their house. And that's where we come in. What we do is we are and I've been, I've been really toying with this. I've been having a struggle with this. What am I? Well, I'm a chef. I can cook. I can teach. This is my butternut squash going in. You know, what do I want to do for my business? And after much contemplation, I decided, and that's the first step is to decide, to be a private entertainment chef. What that means is I work with people that entertain all the time. Some people entertain for a living. They love to entertain and they want to be a guest at their own party. They want to be a guest at their own event or their celebration. And we've been uh, really bringing a lot of value to folks at home. This is just going to get sauteed. Butternut squash cooks real quick. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Anyway, like I was saying, we are, you know, we, not every person is our client, you know, not every person is our client, and that's okay, but people know people who know people, and there are people out there that, despite what's going on, want to entertain, and we, we do everything by the book as far as COVID, we're COVID safe, Barbara and I go in there into people's homes, and 
It becomes an unforgettable experience for the clients and for us as well. <laughs> and this is this right here, this is part of the holiday menu. And this is where families get together. The, this type of menu speaks to, to different to different scenarios. This is comfort. This is comfort food using local ingredients that are in season for the holidays. And you get the holiday smells and it's just great for when families get together. They have stuff like this, you know, turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, different types of desserts. So, that, so now the, this is starting to cook really nice. I mean, you can add whatever you like. You can add fresh thyme if you like in here. You can add rosemary, parsley, sage, thyme, whatever you want in here. I chose to just use onions, garlic, and um, onions, garlic, and scallions. I do have some fresh nutmeg that I'm going to grate right in here. I like using this great, um, the fresh stuff. Mmm, smell Barb. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Right? Of course, in the outside of the nutmeg is called mace, which is another spice. I'm just going to add a little of this. This does not get any brown sugar or anything like that. The natural sugar in the, in the onions is going to caramelize, and it's going to create some sweetness there. Oh, wow, I can smell the how pungent that is. Look at that. Woo! And you can caramelize this a little bit. All right? That one's almost done. All right. You can add a little more scallions. And we also have some cream. Now, you want to cut some calories, you can use light cream. Although I did use some butter in there. It's okay, too. Yeah. This does not take long to cook. We're going to finish this in the oven. We'll add a little bit of cream. And this is going to come to a boil. Okay? This is going to come to a boil. I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper. Just a little. When you're working with cayenne pepper or anything like that, you got to watch if you touch it, not to touch your face because it will burn your eyes. Okay? I have some Fresh Parmesan is going to go right in here, and that's starting to, that's starting to boil. Great. This is great. And this is just, adds some sharpness. If you, if you get too thick, you can always add some milk or water. Uh, here's my Greyer mix. I'm going to add some Greyer. It's starting to look like a little bit like mac and cheese, right? But it's not. This, this is going to infuse into this cream and it's going to be a, a sharp but sweet flavor. It's going to be a contrast there. So this is what you're looking for as far as consistency goes. And this doesn't take long. I'm going to put it in here. Just a regular casserole. Okay, you can do individual ramekins if you like, um, if you have them. But this is just a regular casserole dish. And the, the hardest part is the preparation, cutting everything. Here, let's do this bar right here. Here, we'll go here. And we're going to put a little more gray hair on top. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I can smell, I can smell it from it melting before. Really nice, really nice. Beautiful. And I also have some breadcrumbs. These are just regular, you can do fresh breadcrumbs in the food processor for like a ciabatta bread or something like that. Or you could, this is panko and I added a little bit of um, garlic, granulated garlic in here. And, with, and I, I, I tossed some olive oil in here as well. If you like, you can put more olive oil on top. I, I kind of massaged it in, so we don't really need more olive oil. This is going to the oven for about 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, and that squash is going to absorb some of that liquid. It's going to be beautiful.
Okay, we're going to take this one out here. I have my cake rack, and this is the finished product. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. You can serve this with a little scallion garnish on top. This is a great side. The, the, these sides, I mean, turkey is great as well, but it would be really, it would be really boring without these sides to jazz up the meal. Okay. Wow, look at this, Barb. Just gonna take a piece out, and this is the consistency you want. You want to kind of have it where it's not falling apart and too soupy. Okay. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. Wow. Whoop. That is nice. That's it. That is it. You have some extra cheese if you want to do something with that later. You can put that in something else. This goes back to... Actually, you know what? Let's look at that part. That is it. You are going to wow your family and friends for Thanksgiving with this side right here. Think about this with a little bit of turkey gravy on there. Oh, this is the kind of things that we're going to be... These are the types of things that we're going to be serving at our holiday events. When we do a holiday event, this is one of the, the most requisitioned side order in our arsenal here. And I'm excited about it. So, folks, thank you for popping on. Looking forward to seeing you in person soon. And... We are, we are ready to, to help some folks that want to entertain. So please refer us. You can go right to cookingaccords.com or you can instant message me or email me at cookingaccords at gmail.com. In any event, again, veterans, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Chef Danny out. Have a great day. Peace.